Hello. Alright. I think we're we're good here. Um I can hear myself talking through the stream. Alright. Um Kavik, welcome to the stream, man. Um it seems like they're just going to be uploading this, so we're just waiting for it to go up, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm ready too, man. Uh, I've been waiting, what was it, like three months now for this freaking, uh, for this thing to show up. The first first official trailer they have not posted anything so um, all right it's six o'clock now just keep reloading the page until it shows up and there it is all right Just put on my headphones real quick. My mic likes to cut out for some reason. But yeah, let's get this going. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it because my audio is a little fucking weird. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, here we go. The professors, as the stars. Oh, there's a new Pokemon. Of course, there's Pikachu. Flesh <laughs> Oh, there's another new Pokemon. Looks like a grass type. There's another. What the heck is that thing? <laughs> Lechonk. I can't English apparently. Implementation. I suppose we can only hope. Gengar! Yes! name Wachonk. <laughs> We're gonna get some legendary reveals here. Interesting Pokemon. Oh, 
I guess those are the legendaries. November 18th, 2022, I fucking called it. <laughs> Cyborg lizard. All right. Well. I guess the first thing is uh these guys here. I saw a leak from um from Centro. I think it was like 20 30 minutes ago saying that there's potential of the games having one legendary and the legendary having five different forms. Now, I don't know if that's the case, and this is just two of them. But based off their general designs, I can kind of see that being a possibility. Um, I feel like this one over here is definitely going to be an electric type. Maybe that's a given based off how it looks because this one has like kind of thunderbolts on its head. Not to mention it's, uh, I guess you could say it's neck here. <laughs> That'd be strange out of these two. I prefer the violet one. I think I prefer the scarlet one. But at the same time, it does look kind of weird because it seems like it kind of has like a wheel inside of it, which is a very bizarre design. Um, but this one also has like what appears to be rockets on its leg or legs. It's a... Uh, see if we can get a better view of this here it's not letting me skip ahead there we go it also seems like it's kind of like off the ground it's got too much going on yeah it's it's very interesting um I remember seeing from the leaks that there was a chance that the starter or not the starters the um the legendaries would be um electric dragon and I forgot what the second one was but it was also dragon um I do still have this here so oops knocked out my mic again
this fucking thing, man. Come on. Okay. This mic's being a pain in the ass, man. I really got to get, like, an actual mic. But, anyway. Yeah, we got some interesting professors here. This one, uh, was it Sada? Or Sada? Kind of looks like a, um, she belongs in Horizon. <laughs> One ear, yeah. Uh, I I can't do anything about that. Sorry, <laughs> Giga Chad Professor, the biggest of gigas. What is up, Rishi? Welcome to the stream. And then as well, welcome to the stream. They match the style of their respective legendaries. Yeah, actually, I can see that. They have, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so we can move on from these guys. There's an orange there. <laughs> so this person, I wonder if maybe that's like a rival. You're just destroying my left ear. I know it isn't intentional. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry, man. It's the way that these, these, <laughs> the way that this thing is set up is like it has two. Um, it. Ha I don't even know how to describe it, but like it has two inputs, kind of. And if I plug it into the other one, then um, it'll go to the right side instead so the thing is just kind of wonky Mike is too close to your mouth I think I don't know man <laughs> uh, it it's kind of like it only picks things up from a certain distance so I'm trying not to like have it too far from my face I'm <laughs> trying to do the scary mic. I'm using like an actual um, mic for like concerts and stuff, like a legitimate microphone for vocalist. So I don't have like a, a computer mic. Looks like a contrast of tech versus living off the land. Yeah, I, I could actually really see that. It, it seems to have that kind of style. Because I was going to say, it's like, the lady, uh, I don't know if it's Seda or Sada, but she kind of looks like, um, I don't want to say Amazonian, but I, I think you guys might understand what I'm trying to say by that. And then... This other guy here. She's got like fucking fangs in her mouth too. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> um, yeah, this guy's got kind of like the cyberpunk feel to him a bit. Reminds me of Turok. I don't know who that is. But they have a very similar name. <laughs> has Bangalore vibes. It has, it, it's kind of seeming like these are going to be polar opposites in a way. So I'm really interested to see how that's going to go. There's our boy Quaxley. Are you these three strainer? I read that wrong and it was like, that didn't sound like proper grammar. I was like, what? <laughs> um, yeah, so we got this Pokemon here. 
when I saw it for the first time, I immediately thought of Teddy Ursa. That's just my thought. It looks like Teddy Ursa, but it's like kind of different. The cutscenes look clean. Yeah. They, this game, honestly, is setting up to look like like it's going to be a very, very good looking game. Though, I do believe that they uh, need to improve the uh, textures a little bit. But, if not, it's perfectly fine as well. This game also is still pretty early on. So, we got what, like five months before it, uh, before it comes out. Okay, so we see it using an electric move here. Maybe this is an electric type? Maybe this is the Pika clone of Gen 9. We might have just found the Pika clone, everybody. Could this switch handle better textures? I don't know, honestly. I would hope so. But, um... Let me try turning down my mic on OBS real quick. Maybe that's a little better. I can turn both of these down. I don't want it to be like destroying people's ears. But, uh, anyway, yeah, so maybe that's the Pika clone. Um, all right, what else do we have? We got Pikachu right there. Looks like we got four different trainers. I wonder if we're going to be, like, starting off in a trainer school. Like, that's how we begin our journey. Just based off, like, how kind of formal these outfits are. We got a little Fletchling, we got Flathy. We got this little one. Kind of reminds me of Oddish. That NPC said four people could go on an adventure at once. Hmm. That'll be interesting to see uh, what that's about. I don't really like the formal outfits. Hoping they have better clothing choices. Yeah, if if they don't bring back um, what you call it, um, character customization for Gen Nine games, I would be pretty surprised about that. To be honest, um, it feels like that's kind of been one of the stables of the games since I don't know. Gen 6. I don't think we had anything regarding character customization before then. Why is there a bunch of periods up here? <laughs> that was random. Anyway, yeah, so this... I mean, this is clearly a grass type. Unless it's a bug type. That's the only other explanation for it. Seems to be a uh, really scared looking Pokemon. Kind of reminds me of Sobble. He's a fruit. I could see that. Kind of looks like a grape. <laughs> Alright, then we got this guy. Lechunk. <laughs> it really is a funny name. Um, Lechunk. <laughs> 
it it really makes me wonder what the last evolution's name is gonna be and what it's gonna look like at that it's obviously a pig so it it's not too hard to imagine but it it's still kind of funny <laughs> um Lechonkius, the the third. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of a uh, big chungus, because the name, not the design at all, but the name. He's gonna become big lechonkus. <laughs> Alright, so that's three new Pokemon. Um. We got some more returning Pokemon there. We saw Tootle. Looks like there might have been some Flip Babies there. This looks like a, a gas station. By the looks of it, it seems like you might be able to use it to travel. Could also be like some sort of blimp. You could see like there's a there's a red icon there. It looks like a Pokemon icon. So maybe this is like the Pokemon Center, the Pokemart, and the travel like all wrapped into one. If that's the case, that's really interesting. We got trading there. We got Bagon and Larvitar. We got uh I think that was Colossal. We got Toxapex. Cryogonal. My boy Gengar. Nightmare is gonna return once again. I wonder if Gengar will uh be in a gym again because uh for those who don't know gengar is gengar is currently the only pokemon in existence that has been in a gym in every single generation and in gen 7 it, it also was in a uh trial so gengar is Pretty uh, legendary in terms of badges and such. So I yeah, hope to see Gengar return for another gym battle. Wish they showed some evolutions for the starters. Yeah, I, I was kind of hoping they would. But um, at the same time, I, I don't really know if I was like exactly expecting them to show them simply because like this is kind of like the first real trailer since the announcement just shows the starters usually um looks like a t-shirt the green one go back to that where was that <laughs> Uh, it looks like everyone's wearing like polo shirts with ties. It makes me kind of question, um, like what year this game takes place in. By the looks of it, it seems like it's not really recent. I got Serena. I don't know if I'm even saying that name right, but um, Talon Flame. This right here, 
I wonder if this will be where the gyms take place. Um, it's obviously a battlefield of sorts, but I don't know. Maybe there's something going on with this. It looks like it's also on top of the building. You can see a staircase right here. Um, I don't know. Maybe this is like where you get your starter Pokemon. I'm. Uh, I also was questioning, like, are we even going to have gyms? Will they just go like the same route Gen Seven went, but like in a different style? Like, well. They have trials, or will they just have something completely new? So, I don't know. That that could be interesting. Because by the looks of this, it definitely doesn't seem like it's a traditional gym. But, I don't know. Obviously, we don't really have enough info on that yet. But, it's interesting, for sure. It's fairly big, but not as big as the stadiums in Sword and Shield. Yeah, I... I was thinking about that as well, like the um like going from Sword and Shield to like back to how we had it in every other generation. Like there was so much atmosphere in Gen 8. So kind of going back to how it was before is gonna feel so weird. I wonder if they'll have a mechanic like Dynamax or Mega Evolutions. Yeah, that that's another thing too is uh the gimmick as we call it. Um every generation since uh Unova has had a gimmick of some sort. Though for Unova it was for a very, very small amount of Pokemon. As a matter of fact, it was only for one Pokemon being Kirum. But in um Gen five we had Fusions, Gen 6 we had Megas, Gen 7 we had Z-Moves and Trials, and then Gen 8 we had Dynamax and Gigantamax. So, yeah, it could be really interesting what they decide to do with this one. Um, Kalos is located right next to this region on the map. So I've been kind of like thinking a lot about the possibility that we could have Megas in this game since where they originated is so close to this region. Maybe even the possibility that Kalos will be uh, accessible in this game. So all of that would be really cool to see. Um, I don't really know what else they could come up with, but it will sure be interesting to see what they do come up with. So moving forward here, um, we got a lot of different areas. We got Pikachu running. So we got this big old tower looking thing here. Looks like it's in the middle of the desert. So maybe this is like some sort of abandoned town or something. It's hard to say for sure, but it looks like something happened there. Then we got these flags with flames on them and some sort of star. Wonder what that's all about. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So bring it back to uh, legendaries here. This part right here, releasing worldwide. Friday, November 18th, 2022. Now, I don't know how many people know about this, but I did successfully predict this date. And I'll even prove it. 
I can go on Twitter here. And I said it under this tweet. November 18th, 2022. They said, when are they releasing Scarlet and Violet? And I said, November 18th. <laughs> I said, call the hunch. When it gets announced, just remember this tweet. I called it, man. This was May 26th as well. Anyway. Yeah, so... Yeah, it could be a team. Um, it could also be, like, what these towers in the beginning are about. Maybe these are, like, kind of clans of sorts, like how we had the Diamond and Pearl clans and Legends of Arceus. I'm not entirely sure. Obviously, we don't have enough info. But that's very well what it could be. Um, different schools, it could be that as well. I can imagine these will probably be version exclusives. Like this here on the left would be Scarlet and this here on the right would be Violet. Obviously because of the colors. Um, yeah. So I believe that is all that we got in this trailer. I also kind of wonder what this part was about, if this even means anything right here. Just all these, uh, what should you call them? I genuinely forgot the word for this. Uh, <laughs> Oranges versus grapes. <laughs> the battle of the fruits. Maybe relates to another legendary. Possibly. Um, with the Pokemon that we got now, we know there's going to be nine starters because obviously three starters per evolution line. Unless they break tradition, but assuming they don't. Um, adding those Pokemon on would be 914 Pokemon. We saw three new Pokemon today, so that's 917. Then there's the two legendaries that we know of. That's 919, and then there's likely going to be a mythical. So right now, we can confirm that there's at least 920 Pokemon. Now, will we have 80 more to make 1,000? We'll just have to see November 18th. Man, it'll be really interesting to see what Pokemon takes slot number uh, 1,000. For sure. So, um, Adi has only in left ear. Yeah, I know, man. It's This thing just, it, it's weird. If I plug it into the other port, it'll just go to the right ear and it'll be the same complaint on a different side. So it is what it is, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, welcome to the stream, Dagger. Also, you sound like a Transformer. I'm trying my best, all right? <laughs> the distortion is all the way up on this thing. And it's like that because for some reason, if it's not all the way up, then you just can't even hear me at all. So until I can get an actual mic, you guys will just have to deal with this for now. Dual inputs. Yeah, I have... It has two inputs on the front. If I put the thing into the one on the left, it'll go to the left side. If I put it into the right, all the sound will go to the right side. So It's annoying, but best I could do right now. A dual inputs, yeah, OBS. I mean, if that's the case, I really don't know how to fix this. Like, I I do have input capture three right here, and there's the mic as well, but they're not both going to the uh, to the left side. I could just turn this down a little more. 
Hopefully that's not too bad. It's at least not hitting red anymore, so I'll take that. Just mute one. I'll go ahead and mute this one. That way, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if this one here can even pick up the sound, but, um, Chrome, there it is. No more Transformer? Okay, well, I guess that was it then. <laughs> professional streamer. I know, right? Such a professional streamer. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so that's everything that was clear to be seen in this video. So um, I'll go ahead and leave it on these two here. Um, yeah, thanks to everyone that came out. Um, noise little stream. Uh, hopefully soon enough I can get like an actual mic and we can start doing some real streaming but this will have to suffice for now um any final thoughts on the trailer before we disperse into the night or day because it's already sun up here <laughs> It indeed was pretty cool. Um, I really like the textures on here. And like, you can... I, th I think you can really see it in here. Like, you can see how intricate they uh, made the design. Like, how... Uh, like, they, they made it really well. Tire Man Legendary is kind of strange. Yeah, it's... They, they just keep making weirder Pokemon as time goes on, man. It all started with the Ultra Beast, I feel. It, and it, from there, we just <laughs> it kept getting weirder. Um, honestly, though, I kind of like Gen 8 in terms of their designs a little more than Gen 7. Like, I really like Vikavolt. But, like, we got cool Pokemon like... Uh, uh, Dragapult and Eternatus or Eternatus. I still don't know how to pronounce that thing, but <laughs> um, now yeah, we got some really cool Pokemon in Gen 8. He was in a horrific car accident and the tire got lodged into his chest. <laughs> I, I could see that, yeah. <laughs> shiny version is him but just more red yeah I uh I don't know his, his shiny kind of looks a little too a little too uh similar I feel like shiny should be like very different in terms of their color and Eternatus just isn't different enough. <laughs> like when, when we look for shinies, we want to see like Aegislash and Garatina. Those Pokemon have some really epic shinies. But then we got freaking shinies like Dragonite and yeah, it, it just some shinies are just not okay. <laughs> Um, Max says that he really likes Shiny Dragonite. He thinks it's really goofy. More power to him. But man, that's just a weird-ass Shiny. <laughs> I cannot get behind any Shiny that's green. We didn't even see any rivals here. Well, my thought is... uh. Obviously, we don't know her name yet, but um, 
I feel like she might be the rival. We do see uh, how we battle her first with this little Teddy Ursa Pikachu looking thing. Of course, we don't know, but based off what we got in the trailer, suppose that it's a fair guess to assume maybe she's the rival. I want to hear something funny. I was on my dad's computer. I noticed he had a Twitch account. And he's following a hot tub streamer. <laughs> Caught in 4K. <laughs> ah, shit, man. Can't be just leaving your stuff around like that. You done fucked up now. It was at this moment he realized he fucked up. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. So I think we'll go ahead and leave this here. Um. Yeah. Thanks again for everyone that showed up. Um. I'll probably be uploading this on YouTube, so anyone who sees the VOD, um, thanks for checking out the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I upload, like, twice a month. <laughs> I I am hoping to upload more often, though. Maybe when we get more streams in here, I'll be uploading more. But, anyway, yeah, that'll do it for today. Um, I gotta start getting some food and starting to head into bed, despite it being like 7 in the morning, almost. So, uh, Kavik, Dagger, um, Brendan, Rishi, everyone that stopped by, um, have a good night, guys, or good morning, good afternoon, whatever time it is for you, and, uh, I'll see you guys whenever the fuck I see you guys next. <laughs> Peace.